How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi, and yes, we are back to some Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Yes, I know, it's been a good number of days since I made a Spyro-related video, but yeah. I know people in the comments have been pointing it out, but yeah, we're back, guys. You probably didn't miss me, it's all good, it's fine. <laughs> Let's start with number one. Yes, I did try and compile everything. Bianca. I'm gonna say it, okay? Don't take it as me disliking slash hating Toys for Bob, not at all. Out of all the designs they've shown. By the way, yes, this was also created by Nicholas Cole. Fantastic work. This right here is the most, I guess I should put it this way, faithful one. Listen up. They've taken a lot of creative liberties, which is not a bad thing. Don't take my words and twist them into something else. I love everything we've seen so far, but this, this is a representation of what a one-to-one -one HD remodeling could look like. I'm not gonna use the word should look like, but what people imagine most of the time. Like, this is what goes to your minds, probably. Oh, this is what I imagine it to look like in HD. And yes, I do admit that she does remind us of Lola, the bunny. <laughs> I love the new coat design, it gives off uh, this student vibe, she is a student learning, you know, wizardry. And I really like how the hood is now shown in the back. I guess with the PS1 hardware it was hard to show the hood, but it looks very nice here. A nice glowing wand has been given, levitating book, these are nice little touches, and the colors especially. The clothes do look darker, no problem with that, it all looks nice. The sorceress's room looks a lot more detailed, no doubt about that, and it does look dark compared to the original. There's some glass stained windows with beautiful magnificent lips. Look at those. There's eggs everywhere, glossy flooring, it all looks good. The dots on the eggs, by the way, they remind me of Mickey. Come on, that looks like a Mickey logo. Okay, the circles should be closer to the big circle, but I don't know, maybe it's just me talking a lot about Cage this week. <laughs> Anywho, for those wondering, hey, is there like some concept art for Bianca? Yes, there is. Here it is. It looks super cool. Now, I wonder why they put Hunter right next to her. I could be overthinking, but there was this old fan theory that these two would end up together in later games, you know. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. Hunter's now clear concept art, in the past we just had these uh, pixely pictures when you zoom in and stuff. His model is really Hero's Tale, the wristbands and everything. I mean come on, I'm not uh, disagreeing, it looks very nice. Now about his bow and arrow, he used it once in Spyro 2, but I get it, I guess they just went with this. And plus in the cutscene with Laura, he doesn't even have the bow in the back. I mean it's just a piece of art, right? Let's move on to number 2, Crush. They revealed a second cutscene, not really a cutscene, they made it seem like it's a cutscene, but technically it isn't. They're using a lot of zooming in, zooming out effects. This time we look at uh, the redesigned model of Crush. I'll play the scene for you. Crush's model is looking lovely. You're probably tired of the words I'm using. <laughs> My favorite between him and Gulp. I mean, it's him. Crush, for sure. The blue and the purple he had on his skin in the original, it's still there. A lot more detail on his skin. He went to the dentist, apparently you can see more of his teeth. I just love how they zoom into his eye. But they didn't just do this, you know, just for looks. Pay close attention, you notice Spyro's reflection. Now is this going to be shown? Like this. Like, is this gonna be it in the game? As I just said, it's just for the purpose of, you know, promoting the game. So the reflection of Spyro could have only been put into this, you know, to just make it look all nice. There's a Ripto right there if you pause it right here. It's hard to really analyze, but you do see a bit of his face and the shape, you get it. As for the area part, okay, Crush's dungeon, many are saying, why does it look like a sewer area? Where in the original, it doesn't look like a sewer. Yes, there's been a major design overhaul. They thought, hey, this is underground. It doesn't bother me to the slightest. Yeah, it's a different taste, a different design, a different vision, but it looks nice. Your guys are probably gonna say, okay, this dude is always being too nice, right? But I'm being honest. Like, it's underground. 
I mean, I could imagine pipes being underground. But yeah, some people are pretty much saying, but it doesn't fit the theme of the homeworld when it's supposed to. I mean, everyone has their own opinions, but mine is, I like the design. If you don't, it's okay. Spiral growls here. Hmm. I would say not exactly. Yes, he does have a growling idol animation, but the growling here is only, you know, for the purpose of this reveal, I take it. The blue orb, when he stomps, talking about Crush, it looks much nicer. It, it just has to do with the power of the hardware, can make it look more detailed. And the thing with remakes, something I said in the past. I never expect a remake to be one-to-one. -one. And because of this, Bianca's redesign really, really surprised me. Like, it's the closest to the original. But really, if Toys for Bob are gonna go over feedback, you know, people really disliking the way Crush's dungeon looks, I mean, I don't know. The game's planned for November 13th. Would they really redesign the whole area? But anywho, guys, I did talk about Crush enough. What do you think of the redesign, by the way? Leave your thoughts. 3. Aquaria Towers. Alright, for this part, Canadian guy, yeah, you've probably heard of this guy. He covers a lot of Spyro content. He got exclusive footage. And I need to know his secret. How did he do it? I do not know. I'm just gonna redirect you guys to his channel. Go check out the video, go check out his coverage, it's like a 10 second clip, alright? Oh, before I forget, there is a beautiful concept for this. Et voila, it looks super. There's no water drawn, I take it the artist was just going over the overall feel of the level? I mean, water, drawing water, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal for a concept. But anywho, let's move on to number 4. Autumn Plains. Forbes shared a comparison of, you know, Autumn Plains. The trees follow the same colors, they're curved. This is what I've noticed about the Reignited Trilogy. Trees now have curved trunks. The grass does look more yellow here, okay. Judging by how they made it greener, for at least Spyro 1 footage, like the later builds, it could be possible they might make it greener, but I'm not complaining. I mean, it's autumn, the color fits, you know. I absolutely love the detail given to the castle. And it seems like Ripto's concept on the flag, which we saw in Summer Forest's cutscene, it was a placeholder. That right there is the design which is going to appear on the flag in the final product. And comparing the heights, the original and this one, the flags are indeed put lower. The name of the realm, pay close attention, it now shows up from a far away distance. Normally it pop up when you approach the gate to the realm. Beautiful skybox by the way. 5. A screenshot of Bamboo Terrace. Instead of green, the roofs and everything, they went with blue. I love the skybox, it has more of this consistent cloud instead of having it all spread out. The old one was, you know, much more cloudy with a mix of colors, but looking at the new one, it looks lovely. All the green you see on the right has been turned into rocks. There's still some green on the rocks, and it looks like Toys for Bob is in love with rocks. Any walls you see, it probably turn into rocks. <laughs> you see a bit of the Rhinox right there? It's hard to tell even if I zoom in. They got rid of the red borders around the bridge. The walls now have a design lettering given to them on the left and the right. And here too, the grass looks greener. 6. Fireworks Factory. The bridge has completely been redone. There's some lap posts, it looks so much better. There's some additional rocks on the edge of the cliff Spyro is standing on. This is something they've also done with Stone Hill. Right on the cliffs, there's some rocks on the sides. I love the way the sky is looking with the additional stars. By the way, if I zoom here, caption this. And here's a concept art for Fireworks Factory. With that being said, guys, let's move on to the spoilers part of the video. Yes, I said it's spoilers. If you want to click away, do so now. Alright? Xbox Live France. They shared the full trophy list. I'll talk about the trophies afterwards, but with these trophies revealed, the pictures which come with them, it's concept art of over 100 levels. I will of course not show everything, okay? I'm talking about uh, the concepts, but I will go over a few interesting things I did pick up on. At least for the levels we've seen so far, yeah, I'm... okay, let me just uh, get started. Summer Forest, the platforms where Hunter teaches you to glide. Water has been added. Pretty much they added a bunch of waterfalls, which looks lovely. Dark Hollow, the platform looks like the base of Spyro Incense Burner, which you probably purchased. I did purchase mine from my local EB Games, known as GameStop in the US. 
and right there, there's a crystal dragon pruned bush. Cool, right? Nasty's loot. Okay, this one is the most interesting. Well, second most interesting. Holy dragon eggs. It looks like Nasty is secretly a Spyro fan. <laughs> I mean, okay, the carpet, you could argue, those X's on the eyes. Spyro doesn't look so good. I love how his loot area looks like actual horde. You know, the vault door. And there's a bunch of love letters? What are those? A secret dragon lover? I mean, there's a crystal statue right there. It's, and some heart in the front. He's a fan of Skylanders, it seems. <laughs> There's a poster of Ripto. Alright, uh, okay, what could this mean? It's time to theorize. 3, 2, 1, I'm just kidding. The Crystal Dragon. It could be the female dragon toys for Bob could have been hinting at. Let me play a clip of an interview with GameSpot. They didn't outright say it. They just said we like to keep some surprises. It's very cool. So one of the questions that I saw online, I thought this was a very interesting question, is with all these dragons being unique, mm -hmm. are are there any female dragons? Because they were all male in the original one. Where th I like, want to leave some surprises. Okay. All so right, we'll right, leave right, it at right. that for y'all. What's that on the left side? A portrait or some sort of extra area? In the original one, you see this painted vault door. As for the green part right there, it looks like a spiral figure? I'm not sure. What would you say? Dragon Shores. The roller coaster has been redone completely. It looks just like wow. Completely redesigned. There's a lot more vibrant colors. Very nice. Sunrise Springs. We had a glimpse of this from E3. E3 was it? I think yes. I'm going off memory here. Here's the concept. I just wanted to show this one just for one reason only. Demonic Spyro. That is creepy. And again, just like before, the water is absent. I mean, it's just concept, you know, to show off the feel of the level, so it's alright. I wouldn't worry about this, we did see water in the actual gameplay footage. Anywho, let's move on. Again, spoilers, the full trophy list has been revealed for all three games. The ones on Xbox Live are translated via Google. And on there, as I said, you can find over 100 concept of levels. A link will be in the description, you can go check it out. As for the trophy descriptions, you can find the official English description over on PSN Profiles. I wouldn't say the trophy list got leaked. This happens for like every game. Plus, the game was even planned for the 21st. This could have been intentional. This was probably already programmed on the website or something. But we got hit with a delay. I mean, Crash NST also got trophies revealed before its release. So really, I don't take this as a leak. It could really be intentional. With this comes even more concept art. The first game will have 37 trophies. Look, the metal back spiders, they're looking lovely as ever. Metalhead from Beastmakers, he looks so much better. There doesn't seem to be a skill point related trophy, you know, to get all skill points for example. I honestly would have preferred to have a skill point related trophy, you know, more challenge to you. And yes, there will be three platinums by the way, don't worry. The toasty one, it says defeat without getting hit. Some skill points we saw from Activision's video. They are related to no-hit boss battles, described as perfect. But as for Toasty, we don't see it in the list of skill points. So some bosses will not have trophies, but skill points instead. As for Toasty, I guess since he's the easiest boss, they put it in as a trophy. Let's move on to Spyro 2 trophies. 30 trophies in total. Of course, there is a trolley-related video. Trophy, I mean, why am I saying video? The hardest thing would be that. Out of all the trophies we see for Spyro 2, trouble with the trolley, yay, will be the hardest one. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Bombo's name has not been censored for those of you wondering. Okay, why are we talking about censorship? The thing with Twilight Harbor, the guns being replaced with pink gun looking things. After that, people wondered about Bombo. You know, because of the theme of the level and the word bomb in his name, you know. I'm not gonna talk about these controversial topics and stuff. Let's just move on to Spyro 3's list of trophies, 41 in total. There doesn't seem to be a super bonus round related trophy. Hmm. I mean, I would have liked that. Would have made it more difficult to obtain a platinum. I mean, Overall, looking at the list right now, it's much easier than Crash's Platinums. The whole time trials, they were such a pain. Oh, at least there is a trophy for chasing after money bags. But still, I mean, that one's pretty obvious. You can obtain, I'd say, maybe 90% of these trophies just playing the game. If you spend a lot of time looking for all the gems and stuff. So for the overall difficulty, it's doable. As I said, a lot easier than Crash's, you know, time trials and stuff. But anyways, guys, I covered everything I had to cover for now. Alright, I know it's been a while, but here it is. 
So with that being said, guys, do your usual stuff, comments, questions, if you disagree, stuff like that. Leave everything in the comment section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>